We can continue our coverage tonight on a tragic death in Heron. House of Hope volunteer Jeffrey G was killed yesterday while helping unload food. Those who knew him say they'll keep his legacy of offering food and hope alive. News 3's Danny Valle explains. Service ministry is just fulfilling for him, and this is what he truly loved. He truly for all 10 years, John Steve has ministry. served as Heron House of Hope's director. A big reason why was Jeff G. Him and I were working at a reentry uh, ministry, and he said, I think, I think this will be a good fit for you, and I think vice versa. So he said, you should apply for the job. This was in the early 20 teens when Steve got out of prison for his role in a Chicago gang shooting. Heron House of Hope was a chance to change his life. Pastor G was an individual who not only gave you a second chance, third chance, fourth chance, it was just all because of the grace of God that he believed and just wanted the uh, people to see the best part of themselves. Above the House of Hope, G spent time fixing bikes. It's all part of his bicycle resurrection program. He believed he wanted to address transportation uh, for those who were coming out of prison. Uh, so individuals will go to the halfway house like myself. He will want to be the first one to help them with a the bicycle. House of Hope volunteer Harry Edwards spent 10 years in prison for meth. Once out, he came to Marion, where he met G, who gave him a bicycle. It meant everything to me because I didn't have no vehicle at the time. Uh, I got a job at Steak and Shake. I rode the bicycle for two and a half miles out there and back. They spent the last six years fixing and giving bikes away to anyone wanting to put the pedal back into their life, regardless of their past. Some of my family don't care for me a lot. But he didn't, he didn't care about my past. He loved me, who I was. Continuing G's legacy of service is a promise Edwards and Steve plan to keep. But G was more than a mentor. He was the father Steve never had. My father figure was, you know, fortunately I was at the bars on the weekends and stuff like that. Jeff G uh, was on the vigils that he would take men like myself under his wing and uh, he would never hesitate to be there for you whether it's spiritual support, physical support, uh, advice, sharing the gospel. Uh, it was just truly a godly man. In Heron, I'm Danny Valle, News 3.